A curate K. J. Eret, is a person who is invested with the care or cure of souls of a parish. In this sense, curate correctly means a parish priest, but in English-speaking countries the term curate is commonly used to describe clergy who are assistants to the parish priest. The duties or office of a curate are called a curacy. Etymology from the Latin curatus Roman Catholicism. In the Catholic Church, the English word curate is used for a priest assigned to a parish in a position subordinate to that of the parish priest. The parish priest is the priest who has canonical responsibility for the parish. He may be assisted by one or more other priests, referred to as curates, assistant priests, parochial vicars or associate assistant pastors. In other languages, derivations from curatus may be used differently. In French, the curé is the chief priest of a parish, as is the Italian curator, the Spanish cura and the Filipino cura paroco, which is derived from the Spanish term, Anglican communion. In the Church of England today, curate refers to a priest who is in her first post after ordination and is completing her training. The technical term curate, as found in the 1662 Book of Common Prayer, meant the incumbent of a benefice. That is the person licensed by the diocesan bishop to the cure of souls, who, depending on how the benefice income was raised and distributed, was either a rector, a vicar, or a perpetual curate. Although the expression, curate in charge, was mainly used of an informal arrangement whereby an incumbent gave substantial responsibility for one of the churches within the parish to an assistant, in law it denoted a cleric licensed by the bishop to exercise some or all of the cure of souls when the incumbent had failed to make adequate provision for them or was subject to disciplinary measures. Once in possession of their benefices, rectors and vicars enjoyed a freehold, and could only be removed after due legal process, and for a restricted number of reasons. Perpetual curates were placed on a similar footing in 1838 and were commonly styled vicars, and this practice was legally recognized in 1868. Clergy who assist the curate were, and are, properly called assistant curates, but are often referred to as the curate. A house provided for an assistant curate is sometimes colloquially called a curatage. Assistant curates are also licensed by the bishop, but only at the request of the curate, who had the right of dismissal subject to certain conditions. With the 1968 pastoral measure and subsequent legislation, the Church of England has undergone a major process of reform which still continues today, and much of above no longer holds good. Ministers in the Church of England whose main financial income comes from sources other than their work as clergy may be termed self-supporting ministers or curate. Terms like erector and curate were carried overseas with the spread of Anglicanism, but their exact meaning depends on local conditions and regulations. In the Church of Ireland some curates are styled bishops curates as they are accountable directly to the diocesan bishop, while sometimes mentored by local parish clergy and are perceived to have more autonomy than other assistant curates. In Anglican parishes with a charismatic or evangelical tradition, the roles of curates are usually seen as being an assistant leader to the overall leader, often in a larger team of pastoral leaders. Many of the larger charismatic and evangelical parishes have larger ministry teams with a number of pastoral leaders, some ordained and others who are not. In the Episcopal Church of the United States, the curacy may be a temporary place to continue training after ordination, similar to an internship, or it may be a permanent, subordinate position, more akin to a perpetual curate. History Originally a bishop wouldn't trust a priest with the cure of souls of a parish. When, in medieval Europe, this included the legal freehold of church land in the parish, the parish priest was a perpetual curate. An assistant would be a curate. 
The words perpetuous and temporalist distinguish their appointments but not the length of service. The apparent reference to time is accidental. A curate is appointed by the parish priest and paid from parish funds. A perpetual curate is a priest in charge of a parish who was appointed and paid by the bishop. As the church became more embedded into the fabric of feudal Europe, various other titles often supplanted curate for the parish priest. Rector was the title given to a priest in possession of the tithe income. This right to the income was known as a living. The title of rector comes from regera, to rule. Those parishes where a monastery had appropriated the rights to the tithe income, a portion of this income was set aside for a priest to occupy the parish, essentially acting on behalf of the monastery. In other words, vicariously, hence vicar. In some cases, a portion of a tithe for a vicar could exceed the income of some rectors, depending on the value of the livings being compared. Minor canons. Minor canons are those clergy who are members of a cathedral's establishment and take part in the daily services but are not part of the formal chapter. These are generally more junior clergy, who in a parish church would be serving a curacy. 